Hi folks, next from HowOnAndroid.com, where we get here on Android every day. Anyway, today I wanted to talk to you about the coolest audio mod app for any rooted Android device. It's called Viper for Android. Uh, if you've been using custom ROMs, you might have used it already. But let me show you how it works and how to install it on any Android smartphone or tablet. So let's go do this, baby. Uh. Hi folks, so I'm going to actually show you what Viper for Android can do in real time. I'm going to go ahead and plug in a headphone to... Um, headphone jack to my microphone. So go ahead, if you have a headphones uh, or earbuds, go ahead and put those on right now. And also um, turn them as loud as you can. So you can actually hear the differences uh, while I tweak the sound here. So let me go ahead and show you how to install Viper for Android on any Android device uh, running Gingerbread, ICS, uh, Jelly Bean. Um, so let me go ahead and show you. First, you'll have to download Viper for Android. So go ahead and just type Viper for Android. Oops. Viper. Viper for Android. And type that in Google. You'll most likely find the app at Viper for Android. I also have a direct link to the site on XDA. Um, if you go to the actual XDA thread, um, you will be able to download the latest version of uh, FX. So go all the way down, and you'll see the download link down, way down here. Um, there we go. Oops. Right, where is it? Uh, there we go. Downloads here. Um, go ahead and download the uh, FX version here. Let me go ahead and uh, zoom in there. Um, and uh, this will go to Mediafire. And you'll be able to download, um, make sure you use internet, and go ahead and download uh, the latest version. I've already downloaded the latest version, so I'll just show you. Um, you just have to hit the download link there. Uh, once you download it here, uh, since it's a zip file, you'll need to actually unzip it. So I highly recommend go to the Play Store, download ES File Explorer, free, uh, free app. Go ahead and open up ES File Explorer. And uh, when you download the file, it will go most likely go in your download folder, uh, Viper 4 Android blah blah dot zip. Go ahead and click on it, and use ES Zip Viewer, and hit Extract here, all right, and just hit OK. And this will create a new folder. Uh, let me go ahead and hit the back button here. Oops. Um, you'll see a new folder here created Viper 4 Android here. 
And in here, you'll see uh, Viper 4 Android underscore 2.3. That's for gingerbread. If you have gingerbread phone, um, gingerbread OS 2.3.4, 2.3.5. Um, if you have 4.0, uh, X such as 4.0.3 ICS or 4.3, um, uh, 4.3 like I'm, I have on my Note 3. Go ahead and choose the 4.x. Uh, if you get install block, make sure you hit unknown sources, hit OK, and then go ahead back and reinstall it. There we go, and you'll be able to install Viper for Android FX. All right, once installed, um, open it, and it'll ask you to install. Viper 4 Android V4A driver. So you have to install that. Um, you can choose uh, power saving, high audio quality, or super audio quality. Uh, I went with super audio quality and uh, say OK. This may drain more battery, but uh, you know I don't care. I want the best quality. So this will install it. And it says reboot your phone. And once that's done, um, you can reboot your phone. Now there's actually one more step you got to do. Um, go ahead and download Build Prop Editor. Now, if uh, if you reboot right now, Viper 4 Android will work with third-party apps such as um, music player apps such as Pandora. Uh, but if you want to make it work with a current music player such as Google Music Player, you have to go do this additional step. Very easy. Download Build Prop Editor. All right, and then go ahead and go down to uh, LPA uh, dot decode. Right. Make sure this is set to false. I hit save. All right. And don't reboot yet. And also uh, change LPA.use stage fright um, to also false. All right. And you'll have to find one more uh, called tunnel uh, dot decode. Uh, make sure this is set to uh, false. All right. And that's pretty much it. Now it will be compatible with all of your music apps also. Uh, let me go ahead and reboot here. Um, I found that it's not compatible with Samsung Music Player. Um, so long as you use something else, I, I just use Google uh, Music Player, which works. Uh, if you have like Apollo, um, any of those, you know, uh, for some reason it just doesn't work with Samsung um, uh, Player. So that's the only uh, bad part about it, I guess. Uh, but it will reboot, and you should now be able to um, use Viper for Android. And uh, that's pretty much it. And if you're using a Samsung device, uh, make sure you do use non-Samsung music player, um, and you'll be good to go. And once that's done, you should be all good to go. And there are some additional settings. Um, if you want, if, it's, if you put it in compatible mode, uh, what it will do is uh, if you have an equalizer with uh, whatever music player you're using, it's going to actually work with that. Um, I highly suggest just putting it at normal. Um, this will over override any of those uh, equalizers and just use the one on Viper for Android FX. Anyway, that's how you install it, and you should be all good to go and have fun with it. Oh, one more thing I forgot to note. Um, also, go to um, your settings on your phone. Um, go to sound uh, option, and uh, you'll be able to change the music effects to Viper for Android FX. Make sure you do that also, I forgot to point out. And that's pretty much it. And thanks guys for watching this video. I hope you guys really try Viper for Android. I swear it is the best audio app, uh, period. It's better than anything on the Play Store. Um, definitely, if you have some nice uh, high-end headphones or speakers, it's gonna be able to get you that sound um, just the way you want it. So definitely try it out and do let me know what you think. And as always, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button here, subscribe button there, and share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. And I will see you guys soon. Uh, so stay on Android.